Well, apparently life gets back to normal after a pipe show. Smoking the new Savinelli again. Smokes great. And we're going to do a first impressions of Golden Blend Ready Rubbed by McBaron. This tin was gifted to me yesterday by Kernicus Rax. I'll put a link down to his channel. Hasn't um, uploaded of late um, very frequently, but a very high quality channel, so I encourage you to subscribe. Now, um, I've, I smoked it yesterday at the pipe show, but there was too much going on. I also left the balsa filter in the pipe rather than changing it for an, a charcoal filter and I got tongue bite quite soon so I didn't really get a good impression of this tobacco so I figured I'd do a proper one at home and try and get back to normal life. The um, It's a 100 gram tin. I believe it's from 2010, this tin. So the tobacco is somewhat darkened. A nice broken flake. Very, very easy to load straight into the pipe. Not much to be done. I've just plucked a pinch full, just gave it one sort of tear in half and loaded the bowl. Um, loaded about half a bowl as I usually do. And the tin notes. has got a like a, a very it's almost chocolatey it's quite a cocoa chocolatey kind of a tin note a little bit of earth and a little bit of Virginia aroma there lights up pretty easily stays alight pretty well the humidity on it is very good I haven't uh, let it dry out at all, and it's absolutely fine. In the uh, first part of the bowl, what I got was a very uh, straight kind of Virginia flavor. A little bit grassy, a little bit citrusy, with a very, very slight fruity kind of top note, but really very slight, maybe slightly um, yeah, fruity, not not stewed fruits, not figs or anything that you'd get with Perique, not that kind of fruit, just a light, maybe citrusy, orangey kind of, um, but I exaggerate when I say orangey, um, but there's a very slight fruit top note to it, or a sweet top note, let's put it that way. But it's so slight you can hardly identify it. And there is a little bit of a cocoa chocolatey kind of note to it which I believe comes from the burleys that are in this. However, as you start to get down the bowl, it starts to become more and more about the burleys for me. Um, and despite the fact that I'm not a big burley fan, it's it's palatable uh, for me. Uh, so for burley lovers, it would be great. But uh, for me, it's just about palatable. I don't get a nutty flavor that people get from burleys. Certainly not in this blend. I get more of a um, a dry, savoury kind of note to it, which is what I get from most burleys. Yes, although there is still a little bit of the chocolate there, the fruity note has has diminished really, almost to non-existence, and all you really get is the burleys. Um, and for that reason, for me, this is not going to be a repeat. Um, well, it's not a purchase, it was gifted to me, but I'm unlikely to buy it get, uh, at all. Um, um, so that's a, a very quick first impression. Um, it starts off well enough, but it quite soon gets into its, you know, what it really is, its true colours, which is a burley. I mean, there is still a bit of the Virginia flavours there, but the burleys, for me, overrides it. It's funny how I uh, just can smell out 
a burly just you know I, I just don't seem to get on with it I don't know why but it, it's just comes to, across to me as a savory flavor with a bit of a, um, a an unpalatable edge to it I've tried to describe it before without success sometimes it tastes like cardboard sometimes it tastes like um, just a dry sort of sensation I just don't enjoy it can you tell it's a shame because the tobacco itself is superb tobacco as most McBaron tobacco is just looking at the broken flakes in there is just they really are quite appetizing really nice pieces in there but uh, just not quite up to my palate so I'm probably going to pass this on we smoked this yesterday as well we opened this tin up this one was a little bit more palatable a lot of uh, depth to it uh, we estimate this to be from around the 70s and uh, Tree enjoyed it and um, Cobbit of the Shire I'm not sure if um, Kernicus Rax tried it or not. If Kenny tried it, I think he did take some with him. I can't remember. But anyway, so that's been the first impressions of salts of the McBaron's Golden Blend, ready rubbed. A high quality tobacco, but flavour wise, just not my kind of thing. But perhaps it might be yours. Thank you very much. Catch you on the next one. Say hi to the doggy. <laughs>